Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, tonight I'm back with just a, a really cool update. As you can probably tell by the title, um, Sony Vegas 11 Pro has arrived. Um, I wasn't aware of it until about an hour or two ago, uh, but my friend Devon, uh, he told me that it's out and you know I've gone out there and got it uh, purchased as usual. Um, so yeah, um, let's jump straight in. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's looking really good. I mean, Vegas 10 had its issues. Not sure if this is going to have its issues so far. Um, on the main of it, I've changed my layout to look like this. People have it different, but uh, there's some really, really nice features on uh, Vegas 11. I mean, the general majority of it has stayed the same. What I'm going to do is just quickly go through and show you a few of the new things that I've found so far. Um, like here on media generators they've added a new one which is this uh, I think it's this tile and text you can change it's just basically some of the um, I don't know how to explain it really it's just basically the way the text comes in you know they've got a lot of different ones so instead of having to settle your own using event pan crop you know there's a lot of nice ones in there you can probably change the color and all that cool stuff um, the main thing is the rendering times now these have been vastly improved and can be even improved further if you have a good graphics card. Uh, if you go to the options and then preferences and the over to video, um, obviously you can set your dynamic RAM preview to whatever you want, but then obviously if you've got a, a good graphics card here, GPU, which because I'm a gamer, I don't really, so it doesn't pick mine up as being good enough to help Sony Vegas, but my general PC is good enough anyway to do what I need it to do. So, but if you have got a good graphics card, you just go to GPU acceleration here and set it to on and that is going to vastly improve your RAM previews and your rendering time. Um, so that's a really nice effect. I think they've changed a few of the little stuff in here which is cool. Uh, but and one of the other main things that I found and you know really like, I haven't tested it yet but I will try test it and let you know how it goes, um, is the upload to YouTube. In fact, let me just drag a video in here. I'll just use that one that I had earlier. Drag and drop in. So as you can see now, um, if you go to file, you can go to upload straight to YouTube. And now all you need to do is simply type in your username, your password. You can fill out all the info here, the title, the description, the video category, your tags, everything you'd expect to see on the YouTube uploader. And then simply click upload. So once your video is finished rendering, um, it will upload straight to YouTube. So haven't tried it yet but I'm gonna give it a whirl if you guys have tried it or you try it after seeing this video you know uh, let me know let me know how you got on um, the other main difference which I found is obviously the render as you can do this render in real time which is kinda like a RAM preview it'll render whilst it plays out loud which is good you can see you know how it's looking without having to render the full thing that's cool uh, the render as um, as you'll see now this is changed quite a lot. Um, used to give you a bit of a raggy screen and a few different options. Um, I think when you first get it, it'll start on this Sony MFX. Not really sure what that file type is yet. Um, I think it's maybe to use it with Sony other Sony products, but um, obviously if you're using it for YouTube, capture card and stuff like that, I've stuck with it. Uh, main concept, AVC MP4. Um, that's the one I've been using. And then you set it to, you click the drop down box and obviously you can pick you know a standard one like internet HD 1080 which you click on that and then you can click customize uh, which mines here YouTube HD uh, so if you just want to know my quick rendering settings there you go uh, obviously changing the frame rate the uh, variable bit rate I don't think there's anything else different oh yeah this is where you can click uh, check for your GPU and set it to help improve the performance Project best still got the 3D mode if you're making 3D videos, which not a lot of people are yet, but maybe for the future. Um, so yeah, and there's a, a few little options here which I'm gonna have a play around, you know, over the next few days, showing favorites only, match project settings. I think that was there before. Um, yeah, so I mean, overall, the interface of it, you know, looks really nice. Uh, in regards to rendering times, I just rendered the same video. I think a minute before used to take me about a minute and a half to render on my PC. Um, did it in about 45 seconds so doesn't sound a massive difference but obviously if you're rendering a 10 minute video and you know you're looking at 10 15 percent faster you know that's great and that's not even including me using a, a graphics card so um, yeah obviously if you're interested in Sony Vegas uh, my friend Devin um, his link will be in the description 
um, go check it out if you know you're interested in getting Sony Vegas and where to you know get it from. Um, his channel is I'm Too Mainstream, so hop over there. Links in the description, and um, yeah, go have a play with um, Sony Vegas 11. And you know, if I find any issues or any you know other cool stuff, I'll be sure to get, let you guys know. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.